I didn't know my ass was gonna be so gay. I've had guys pumping gas at the gas station and they're watching me and they drive off with a pump in the car. It's crazy. Courtney Barnes has one very attention-grabbing asset. Her unusually large bum. My measurements are 36, a 28, and 59. 59, baby. Damn, girl. <laughs> That's the first thing most people say when they see me. That's just what it is. I just make them say that. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she got ass. Literally. Men, women, grandpas, grandmas. <laughs> Miami is fake. Very. If you're beautiful, most of the time you you don't keep it real. You, like, it's to the point now that she's really popular, <laughs> it's almost like we need at least one homeboy to come out with us just to keep people back. Bodyguard, really. Like, like really. It's time to even put somebody on payroll. That's how bad it's getting. Oh, she's crazy, man. That's, that's, uh, no words to explain, bro. <laughs> that's great, man. I like that. That looks great. After graduating from college with an economics degree, Courtney now makes a living marketing her larger-than-life posterior to her thousands of followers on social media. One thing I did learn in economics is that it's about having a product and people demanding what you want to supply if you want to be wealthy or if you want to get a certain kind of way. And I know what I may do is different, but my product is myself right now. When did I get my body enhancements? It's been about six years now, probably almost seven. I got the butt shot procedure. It's still illegal now. At the time, it was illegal, but people do it. So people like to ask me, how are you gonna look when you're 70? How are you gonna look when you're 80? My butt is, does not sit up as much as it used to. I could see a little discoloration, but other than that, I mean, I'm not sick. It's vanity issues. And it's really difficult for people to take you serious. And I feel like having a really big butt, you're like over-sexualized. Now Courtney is considering a reduction and is going to see a plastic surgeon and bum augmentation specialist, Dr. Constantino Mendieta. Hey, young lady, how are you? I'm so well. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I take a yeah. look at the booty? You can look at the booty. Okay, this by far is officially the biggest booty I've ever seen in exactly. my life. <laughs> see, I can feel lumps and bumps in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can definitely feel the lumps and the bumps. Oh, wow, I can feel a lot of lumps and bumps. I'm unfortunately seeing more and more of these cases of silicone injections to the buttock. People are going to these underground pumping parties and uh, they're getting these, these injections that aren't really um, uh, FDA approved or anything like that. The dangers with these injections is that people are using different kinds of products and the product that they use has different consistencies or different purities. So you have no idea what's being done. So Courtney was not alone. She has no clue how much was injected. She has no clue what was injected. All she said was, go ahead and inject me. I've had, uh, I've had uh, cases of oil being injected, of cooking oil, car oil. All right, well, it's a pleasure meeting you, sweetheart. Many people ask me, are these injections dangerous? The answer is yes. They are dangerous because the injections are given into the vein that goes to the lungs and people have died. So there's an immediate danger to it, but then there's the long-term danger. She's starting to get some skin changes in the buttock area. So I think Courtney uh, is headed for some problems down the road. I hope she decides to do something about it. Um, I don't know, I'm definitely gonna come back to him um, and probably follow up on a consultation. The body is complex and people are getting transplants, limbs transplanted, so I'm like, I'm trusting that they can figure out what to do with booty, okay? I wouldn't recommend it, it was a risk. People are still getting it. I do feel like I was naive at the time, so it was a risk. I guess I was willing to take, I just guess that I'm blessed to, you know, be a voice for, to tell girls it really is a serious risk.